Okay, so the first thing we need is a clean start for the servo. So we've got the servo programmer and tester plugged into a 5 volt power supply, a BEC. So we're going to power that up. And we're going to press the down button here until we reach the last number 10 position of the servo tester. And then we're going to press both buttons quickly. Now that now we're in reset mode. Now that it's in reset mode, it's flashing. That indicates that it's ready to be reset. We're going to hold down both buttons this time. Not just press them, but hold them down for at least three seconds. And we're noticing that it enters a different mode and flashes through all and resets all of the parameters for the servo. Now we're going to push the up button to go to position number one. And in position number one we'll press both buttons and we've entered the manual test position. And we can, we can move the knob and we can notice that the servo gets a maximum of roughly 120 degrees. So that's normal. This is, this is a completely normal servo this point just like any other servo. So now we'll we're going to press exit manual mode by pressing both the buttons. And we've gone back to a solid light on manual mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the down button to go to the number three position, EPA or endpoint adjustment. We're going to press both buttons again to enter endpoint adjustment mode and we'll see the light flashing now indicating that we're in that mode. So now you'll notice you can move, you can use the, the knob and the servo arm will travel very slowly in this mode. So you might have to wait for it to catch up, but you'll notice that it moves much farther. So it's moving all the way in one direction. If we move it all the way in the other direction, the knob, the servo will follow and go all the way to the other direction. Now we've moved it all the way to one end we're going to, we've allowed the arm to catch up. Now it might jitter slightly at the very end and maybe make some noise. So what we're going to do, we're going to just move it slightly back towards center, just the tiniest little bit, and now it's quiet. So now we're going to press the down button. And what that does is it sets this as one of the extreme endpoints for the servo. So now what we can do we can, we can do that again at the other end. We can move the servo back, the servo arm back, using the knob. Wait for it to catch up. All the way to the other end. And again, it'll kind of jitter when it gets to the end, make some noise. And we're going we're gonna to adjust it back towards center, just the, the slightest little bit again. Like right about there. Now it's quiet. So now what we can do, we hit that down button again, the same button. Okay, so now we're still in EPA mode, but we've set both of the endpoint in adjustment positions. Now we can exit endpoint adjustment mode by pressing both the buttons. Great, okay, so now let's go up to manual mode number one position by pressing the up button. We'll go up to that, we'll press both buttons to enter manual test mode, and we'll notice the servo now moves just slightly more than 180 degrees from stop to stop. That's perfect actually if it moves more because we can limit the travel of the servo later with the programming from the radio. The point is we have enough movement now. So let's exit manual test mode by clicking both buttons. Great, you'll notice that all of the servo, the, that the servo arm right now is moving in the same direction, a clockwise rotation, the same direction as the knob. So when we were in manual mode there, when we moved the, the knob to the left, the left rotation, the servo moved to the left, and we moved it to the right, the servo arm moved to the right. So we can take and leave, for the purpose of building these air brakes, we can take and leave one of the servos at this at this per, uh, position in the programming just by unplugging it and setting it aside. But the second servo, 
uh, we'll want to have in a uh, counterclockwise position. So what we're going to do here uh, for one of only one of the servos, we're going to continue by pressing by going to pressing down the down button to go to the number six position called direction mode. We're going to we're going to push both buttons to enter direction mode programming. So great, we'll see the lights now flashing slowly, indicating we're in direction program mode. So press the down button. The light is now the light's now flashing fast, indicating that the servo is now set to counterclockwise rotation. Now we're going to press both buttons briefly again to exit direction mode. Okay, just to check what we've done, we're going to press the up button to scroll up to manual test mode. We'll press both buttons to enter test mode. And now we'll notice that when we turn the knob to the right in the clockwise rotation, the, the, the servo moves counterclockwise. It moves in the opposite direction of the knob. So you now have two servos that move more than 180 degrees and in opposite directions to each other. So you can now proceed with building the air brakes.